Hello everyone, Jerz here with some more Heroes of the Storm, and we're going to be taking it to Blackheart's Bay today and, well, collect gold coins, some doubloons! Pretty long game, <laughs> but, uh, let's do my character. So we're going to be playing as Sergeant Hama. This is actually my first quick match with her. I've, up until now, I've just only played her in bot matches. And I wasn't feeling too confident to bring her here yet, but I decided, you know what, screw it. I, you know, let's try it, see what happens. I wasn't feeling all too, too good about this match, but, uh, you know, it, things turned out okay. So, looks like I'm going to be taking the, uh, the top lane solo. And the first thing I like to do is go to the vision point. And also the first ability I like to take is... Advanced Artillery. Increased damage bonus to long distance enemies by 10%. You could also go with Ambush, I suppose. But, uh... Overall, everything else here is not all that interesting. I take the 10% because I'm going for a distance build. You know, I like doing my little... My thing. Um... So we're already team fighting. And I'm like, oh my god, these guys are comboing me and stuff. I run away with my Z. That's the thrusters. She doesn't have a mount. Or, uh ride faster actually she well she does ride faster with the thrusters but that's about it i think we are gonna pick up this kill here yeah that leoric's going downtown baby but she's got a few moves that are actually really useful actually all her moves are useful i don't see a problem with any of them actually let's see this fight first before we go crazy i'm trying to stay away from this diablo and try not to get rooted because if i get grabbed i you die so fast if you don't have your thrusters up and i like to use my w the concussive blast to push enemies away from my teammates you're gonna see that a few times here i'm gonna save some people i'm gonna save myself and here, here we go right here bam concussive blast get them off of my karazim i believe that's his name karazim he's the new character that just came out the monk from Diablo. I love Diablo games. Is that really his name? Let's find out. It is Karazim. But uh, I think he took a supportive role this game because we needed a support anyway. We needed a healer. The other team had two healers. I think their Karazim was uh, healing as well. But yeah, this is a battle amongst battles here. And I got four people in here in the mid and we're just trying to hold off. And we've got Illidan. Baby, that's right. Looks like they're going up top to the Kerrigan. So she better watch out the Diablo. Oh my god, if he body slams you into a wall and you get stunned, there's not much you can do about that. You're just you're just screwed. So what you have to rely on is battle within your own boundaries. So let's take a look at our abilities here while I'm not doing much. Uh, you got the Q, you, you put three mines down that slow enemies 25% for 1.5 seconds. So as you can see, I put them down there. They're pretty good to defend yourself like if you're in siege mode put them down below yourself because if they're pushing you you'll slow them you'll hit your thrusters fly away really fast and they're moving slow so like i said before she doesn't have a mount so she has thrusters cool down 30 seconds if you don't have this up and you're getting grabbed and slammed around you're probably in trouble but Good thing you've got your spider mines and your concussive blast to help you out in case you don't have this up at the moment. But you get a huge boost out of the 60% speed for 4 seconds. Real good for getting you out of a sticky situation. And you can also use it while you're in siege mode. So that makes the move even better. So the Yorick's trying to get on me. I blow him away right there. And I'm like, I'm not going to siege up because I know more people are on the way. Because there's no one else on the map except, is that Jaina on bottom? Yeah, Jaina's on bottom, and then these guys start jumping on me. I'm like, oh, hell nah. Blow them away. And my spider mines go into them, do some splash damage. And it's time to siege up. Bam! We pick up the Diablo kill. And we're just going to stay in siege mode here because my team has given me vision to do some damage. And it's time for me to fly away with my, uh, my thrusters. But, got to help the Kerrigan. She almost died right here still. Ooh, that was crazy. If she'd have died, I'd have been like, damn, like, so, you know, I'm feeling a little, a little more confident than I was at the start of the match. I'm like, okay, I'm saving people, I'm, I'm shooting stuff, doing some things here. I don't want to venture too far out there without my thrusters, because if I get caught, you're pretty much dead. Your health pool is really small compared to other uh, ranged characters, like uh, all, all the other assassins. I think this character is considered a specialist, actually. But I really have to 
you have to deal with riding around like this slow all the time. You're the tank that doesn't tank. I don't know. That makes sense. Uh, you don't. You don't take a lot of hits. <laughs> But spider mines clear that wave pretty quick. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get this by myself. I can already see Diablos down there. And for me to do anything to them is probably... I mean, I can shoot some shots at them. But, I mean, it's Leoric and Diablo. If he body slams me into a wall, tosses me at me back, Leoric smacks me a little bit. I probably won't die, but I'll probably be really hurt. So I picked up first aid. Let's see what my second ability was. I got Maelstrom Shells. Increase your basic attack range by 20%. That helps a lot. And I picked up First Aid as my third ability. So my teammates are looking to turn in or defend from the enemy turning in. So I'm going to head down here and give them a hand. Um, someone on their team had drone. And they were putting drones around. And I was like, what the hell is this thing? I've never seen anyone use drone before. So we got the teammate going in. I'm going right into siege mode and I want to kill that Jaina first. I'm going right on the Jaina. Jaina drops and we I think we get a second kill there. I don't know if it was me that killed him. Someone else did. My siege mode's you know, not in range for this so I'm just going to have to drive up. And I boost up for no reason. I'm like, we can kill the Leora. Get him. And I don't know who healed him right there. Um, he just... And I had to got, get this guy out of here. He'd have probably slammed. He probably killed someone right there. Maybe not. Maybe he'll just scare the hell out of us, but that was scary enough for me. I had to knock him back. I don't want anyone getting stunned. I don't want to get stunned. I don't want my teammate getting stunned. Just just none of that. And I get body slammed. I'm like, oh my lord. And Leoric's on top of me. Good thing I got my first aid to help out. And I put my spider mines down just in case he continued the chase. I'd be able to escape. Three people here. And I'm just trying to poke, walk away, poke, walk away. And Diablo extends a little too far. We actually get some real good hits on him. Kerrigan with the fullback, really nice. And But he's got his orbs. As you see that little vortex right there, that means he can revive real quick. He's got his maxed out, uh, I forgot the name of it, man. He's got the, the Dark Souls. I think it's the Souls. He has enough souls he can revive immediately or something like that. So let's see how we are all doing. We are we're getting bombed right now, actually. Uh, we got some decent hero damage. EXP is not too hot, but we've helped with five of our seven kills or six. I don't know. I don't know what to, to really believe here. I don't know what's what. I guess we've killed seven times. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I've helped with five of whatever whatever's out here. <laughs> whatever's out here. Um, Let's see. My Furion hasn't died yet. Lucky him. But looks like we got another fight going on down here. I was really moving around the map a lot, or like around my team. I didn't really want to be carrying coins much at all. And that drone, I was like, what is that that he just kicked right there? There's a damn drone that gives vision around the area. It can't hide or nothing. You shoot it twice, it breaks, but... I mean, it has its uses, you know? It's supposedly the last 45 seconds. Um, I was checking it out, I think, during the game or after the game or something. <sighs> and I, I'm just going to siege mode up because I feel like more people are going to come up here. And I was let down. No one else came. But I did pick up my the napalm, which is real useful. I don't really like the other ult much, the big rockets thing. I like the, the napalm because you shoot it, it does initial damage, and then it does damage over time as long as they're standing on top of it. So if you got somebody stunned, rooted, any of that sexy stuff, look, he's gonna, well, that wasn't a good example. But if they're stunned, rooted, and they're sitting on it, they're gonna take a bunch of damage. And the cooldown's only, what, six seconds? Let's check that real quick. Six second cooldown, and Napon Trail for lasts for four seconds. That's a lot of damage. Well, I think it is. It's way more worth than getting the other ult. Let's see what the other ult is, the... Let's see what we got. This is a 70 second cooldown and 500 damage to the enemies in its path. No, this is this is definitely way better. 6 second cooldown. And here the Leoric's trying to get this chest. And I see Diablo. I'm like, ah, uh, hey, oh, nah. I ain't trying to fight this Diablo. Um, he made it out of that thing. I, I thought we had him in that little trap right there, but he gets away. And it looks like we got a big fight going on over here. Uh, Diablo, Jaina. Bam! Kill Jaina with the big uh, with the napalm, and we pick up Diablo as well. But he had his his souls again, so he's gonna be reviving real soon. 
and I think somewhere around here I disconnect and the, <laughs> and the computer turns in my two coins for me. No, not yet. It's gonna be later. But this was a scary match, man. It's, it's scary be, uh, being an AD carry. I don't know why I'm calling her an AD carry. I, I think I'm just still used to the League of Legends lingo or something. And there, here's one of those things. That's a drone right there. You gotta shoot it twice. If you don't, it opens up a whole area and gives vision. I feel like that's gonna be real useful in like team play, but I'm, I'm in solo queue. No one here really cares about that. So I drop a napalm just to clear the wave and we can get some damage off. I don't want to get rooted because I know how easily I can die. And that is that, that ult. It only works if you're within the little circle that he's doing it in. We actually pick him up, but I think Malfurion makes it. Oh my god, he does not make it. He dies. But uh, if you're not within the circle that Karazim does his ultimate in, the seven. Oh wow, we got Diablo too. That he does the seven strike, uh, seven sided strike on. If you're not within the circle, he can't hit you. So once you walk into his little bubble, you see him meditating. It's just gonna waste on its own unless you walk in and then you get beat down. I think each hit is seven percent of your maximum health. So if you're by yourself, you're probably gonna get wrecked. I think he hits you seven times in two seconds or, or something like that it's a is it is it seven times I don't, maybe not seven times maybe like four or five times i don't know but leoric he's hit he's here sitting on top of my napalm getting a lot of damage off on leoric and then karazim comes in and i'm like oh my god get off of me because <laughs> i don't really know his abilities yet he's this is the the day that he came out so this is new and then Illidan flies right in i'm like oh my lord i've got a I've, I've got to shoot. I've got to shoot something. But I think every three hits, he's healing his ally. So we do pick up one kill. Boom, we get the second kill on Leoric as well. A lot of, look at all those coins. Oh my god, Leoric gets so many coins. And I don't think we're going to pick up Malfur, and I'm pretty sure he's going to escape. Oh my lord, he does not escape, but I do get rooted. But that doesn't really matter. Three of his teammates died. Jaina's, I don't know where the hell she is, but Diablo's on top lane. So we're, we're pretty safe. And we got these dudes over here with the cannons. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, there's Jaina. Oh my god, does Jaina die for the horde? Oh my lord, she took that napalm so close. And here I got my thrusters and I'm like, oh, fuck this, you ain't gonna survive. So I use, I use my thruster just to get the kill. Um, in that situation, it's perfectly fine to use your thruster offensively because, well, a lot of their people were separated or dead. But... If their whole team's alive and you don't see none of them on the map and you're chasing one person and you waste your thrusters on them, that could be your ass, Mr. Postman. So right here, I actually disconnect and the CPU puts in the coins for, for me, uh, which sucked. Well, it doesn't suck, but I was like, come on, why did I disconnect? But we're back in action. No big deal. Um, how is everyone doing? I don't really know how the kills work here. Let's see. It says 20 kills to 9. I've helped with 15 of our 20 kills. Okay, I got it. Gotcha, gotcha. Alrighty. Alrighty, not, not a big deal. But here, Leoric getting ballsy again, man. I, I don't know. He's got a spell shield up. He's got block. He's going for the super tanky build. He's over there healing off my friend. And I'm just trying to shoot whoever's closest to me. Because... It's just safer that way. If you try to overextend a little too much, you can get beat down. And I don't... I don't like to die. If you guys know anything about my playstyle, I don't like to die. I like to do damage and I like to survive. And there's another one of those damn drones. Um, I like to auto attack and back up. I don't want to stay there too long. Possibly get looted, grabbed, some, something. I don't want. I just don't want to get abused. Uh, but here I siege up and I'm like, you know what? This guy's in perfect range for the siege. Uh, I hit him some damage. I don't know if he even knew I was in that. In that. That fog there he probably did when he saw the damage coming out i think the character does light up once they start hitting you if i remember correctly so i don't i just don't think he was expecting me to be there at that moment i'm not sure but leoric i'm pretty sure he regrets that decision uh, how are we doing kerrigan doing a lot of hero damage that's really good nazebo doing a lot of siege damage hero damage as well a lot of exp from nazebo so that's keeping us in the game trying to help our uh, illidan there they are definitely pushing our bottom lane noob cake. <laughs> and the Jaina 
Bam! So I got that one move that you can crawl while in siege mode. <laughs> I said crawl. You can drive at, I think, 50% speed? Let's find out. So we got Giant Killer, my next ability. You could go at first strike if you haven't been attacked in the last five seconds. But the enemy team has some really good AoE, so you're not really gonna escape stuff like that. Like Jaina, she could throw a blizzard on you. Diablo, he stomps on the ground, that fire strike, I think it's called. And that does area effect damage. Uh, Malfurion can hit you with the moonlight. They just have a lot of uh, area damage that I didn't feel that ability first strike would be would work in this game even though it's probably better than giant killer uh mine's not interested barricade not interested so giant killer is a way to go 1.5 percent of the hero's maximum health each auto attack i'm going for an auto attack kind of build here and then after that i picked up the the hovering siege mode you can move 50 percent move speed in siege mode so you get to crawl around i mean it, it looks funny too so you just gotta, and then I get body slammed. I'm like, I'm getting the fuck out of it. Their whole team is coming. I'm getting slammed. Had I had, had I not had my thrusters up, I'd be dead right now. This is why you gotta keep your thrusters for these important situations. So, whew, thrusters for the win. And I'm crawling around super slow, trying to get some damage off. Gotta back up. I don't want to get rooted. <laughs> you get rooted, it leads to bad things, man. Get away from me. But uh, right now it's a 2v5 up here. And we get a Jaina kill. Oh my god. Bam. I'm getting some good damage off here. I think, was that? 400 damage per shot. Plus that 98 right there on Diablo. So 500 damage per auto attack on Diablo. And this dude is just kicking my ass. I popped my first aid. I'm like, oh hell no. Let's hit this guy on some autos. 470 damage right there per auto attack on Leora. That's really good. So that giant killer ability definitely kicking in. And for my final ability, I picked up Nexus Frenzy so I could have even more range. So now I got increased attack speed and attack range. So overall, I got 40% attack range if you consider the first one I got earlier, the Maelstrom Shells, for my basic attacks. So I'm just going to stay in, the, in this area, put some spider mines below me. There's no reason to be in there. I could stay here and watch our backs a little bit might be beneficial to be in the other fog on this side over here so we can see the enemy but I don't want to be caught out even though I do have my thrusters and they do have four people alive but we did get that boss pretty much for free and I'm not sure what we're gonna do now are we gonna turn in looks like we might be trying to turn in we need three more coins to get another uh, gun show going on at their house let's see what we got so I've helped with 20 of our 25 kills I've helped with 20 of those. Uh, hero damage looking pretty good. EXP, I'm up there. It's decent. Another battle going on down here. The team did good killing the Leoric. I assumed he was going to go up north uh, through that area, so I want to cut him off. Necessary, who knows. You, you can never read a player's mind. Well, I guess he could to some extent. So we are bombing them, baby. That's right. But the team, the enemy team, I think either we started getting cocky or the enemy team just started really getting in sync with each other. Because sometime soon, I think this next fight here, they turn it around and they just really beat the crap out of us. Like, really bad. Uh, but let's see how this team fight goes. So it looks like we're pushing down a bottom lane. Uh, Nazebo is getting caught out like a beast. Illidan flies in on, on the Malfurion. That's already one of us dead. Illidan may drop if he's not careful. He flashed out of there. It looked like he blinked out of there. Did he jump out? I'm not sure. I'm just trying to get some shots off. Bam! Those those quick attacks in that range, man. I'm just hovering up slowly. <laughs> you see how, <laughs> how slow I'm hovering up? But you know what? It's worth it. I got my napalm strike. I got my auto attacks doing a lot of damage here. Bam! The splash damage helps a lot as well. They're all grouped up. And then that Diablo ult. Holy crap, that turned it around for us. I think that kills a few of our teammates. Um, so right here, I'm just like, yeah, let me uh, do that. And you guys are really close. <laughs> I might have to watch out. I see Diablo going to his little mounted form. I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> I'm good. So I don't know if he was going to charge me, use my concussive blast. A little premature there, probably should have saved it. 
And I see these two people come up and I'm like, oh my lord, I need to boost the hell out of here. It's really close calls. Coming back for the Diablo. Is it worth? I don't, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to get some poke off, survive, put some mines down just in case they keep on chasing me, pick up my little heal. And I'm just going to sit back. We lost three people in that fight. At least three. I think Nazebo might have died at the beginning of that. I think she, I think he did die before that. So you could say we lost four people before that engagement. We are level 22, and they're about to hit 21. So we still got that damage. That uh, still got a little bit damage uh, advantage at the moment. Got some good damage off on the Diablo. Look at those mines. 200 each mine. So 600 damage on Diablo. Pretty easy. Those mines are really nice, man. I like it. And I've been seeing a lot of people use those little spiders that jump at you, the little jumping spiders. I've been... I, I think I'm going to try those. I've been curious about it. Um, when I play Nazebo, I use the one build that it just makes more and more spiders. But I see that spiders jumping at you might actually be a lot better than that. So... I'm, I'm still really inexperienced with this character, but I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. They got some more uh, cannonballs on us, which sucks because we're going to lose that fourth down there. We got four fourths. They've got one. We're doing pretty good. I didn't Look what happened to that. <laughs> How do you get knocked in the fog? I, I thought that was funny. But uh, we clear this pretty quick. That siege damage, man. And his Ebo is really strong, too. So I see that they're chasing one of our buddies over here. He's probably going to escape. Drop a napalm just to slow him down. There was a lot of team fights in this game. And I like matches where there's a lot of team fights. It makes it real enjoyable. A lot of action. A lot of well, everything. So we're going to pressure them down here because this is where they're going to be. And I'm just shooting the closest person to me. If I get too close, you know the deal when you're a squishy person. You get too close, you get punished. So you got to go for whoever is the closest person to you. As soon as this guy gets on top of me, I'm like, I need to back the hell up. Uh, I see that water element. If that water element starts hitting you and you get slowed, you're pretty much going to die. We have to kill that water element or something. I go back, hit him with a concussive blast. Hopefully that helps. It doesn't look like it did. Drop some spider mines. I could have got some more auto attacks off here. I regret not doing more auto attacks. I feel like I let my team down in this situation. I could have done a little bit more, so I sieged up. I'm uh, just trying to get some more hits off. The Diablo is super low. And I'm like, man, screw Siege mode. I'm going to toss a Napalm. Let's see if they're still in the bush. Almost got Diablo. Had I shot him with one auto attack, we'd have got him. I should have moved up. And I should have got the courage to shoot that one shot right there. So I regret not doing it. Uh, we missed out on a kill on Diablo. And three of my teammates died in the process. So little by little, their team is coming back. Like, they're grabbing people. And they're getting some kills off on our team, which sucks because, you know, when you have teammates dead, there's not much you can do other than sit back because if you try to get a little bit too close, you can get caught out and you dying could throw the game. And I feel like if I died, we'd have thrown the game. I feel like if we did, I don't know why. I just feel like if I died that this game would have got thrown. So we've helped with 21 kills uh, out of 27, which is good. Hero damage. We're starting to pull away from the team finally. This is, I guess this is what Hammer does. Uh, their team leading Karazim doing a lot of hero damage on their team. He's got that, that damage build, which is really good. And uh, Nazebo stacking up the EXP for our team, which is also really good, helping us stay in these fights because the enemy is about to hit level 23 while we're still 22. And it looks like they're pushing up on our team there. Just drop a napalm just to get their attention. And it looks like we're going to have another fight here. They got that damn thing. I'm just going to siege up and take it out that way. So we don't have to get too close giving them vision. So, oh my god. Everyone's just ulting over here. Doing some craziness. And I'm just going to shoot my cannons. Bam. Bam. And I think right about here I'm just, you know what? Like, screw it. They can't really do much. I'm trying to hit the Diablo. Get some good damage off on him because his health looks like it's low. I don't know. It could be deceiving uh, when you look at the little health bars there. And then I'm like, I am surrounded. I do not want to die right now. Drop some spider mines. And let's see. Do they do? Yeah, they do do a little bit of damage there. 200 damage or so. Get some hits off on this guy. This guy does a lot of damage, man. Karazim. Uh, if, if you don't move away from his moves, that one dash, he, he'll do a butt ton of damage. Uh, we lost four of our members there for none of them. So another really rough fight. 
Um, we hit 100,000 uh, hero damage, but we're probably going to lose a fort for this. Looks like we are. So the enemy is... They're, they're coming back, man. They're coming back. They're overpowering us with their heals. Their tankiness is just overdoing our strengths. And I'm trying my best to just sit back and kill who I can before moving on forward. Um, I don't know if this is the way you play Sarn Hammer. This is just how I thought I would play her. So, I mean, you know, I would have to play more matches against players to get more experience as Sergeant Hammer. The only experience I have is bots. This is literally my first uh, real match with players here. So I still have a lot to learn for myself as to, as to her mechanics and such. But cleared up that little uh, that little mercenary camp. They got another camp coming down here. Looks like another cannon camp. The uh, yeah, the the cannon minions. Just gotta clear those up real quick. A nice napalm will destroy a wave. I like the napalm. Really good, man. If you guys have not tried the napalm, napalm strike, definitely try it. So I'm backing up because I don't know where they are, and there's no vision behind us. They could be coming up behind us. I'm playing real cautious. The death timers are really long now. They're about a minute long. A minute means a lot in this game. So, got to be very careful, very cautious at the moment. And let's see. They've got control. I think they actually... I think they might actually pick up a boss on us here. Because we don't see any of them. They might be getting a boss and might have Karazim up there to... To uh, throw our attention off. Like, oh, he's just pushing a lane. He's not killing a boss. And then we're like, guys, I think... <laughs> Yeah, me and Karazim are like, I think they're doing boss. So we're going to start working our way up there. And then it's like, oh, uh, they got boss. And then I'm just like, dudes, we're not fighting without our turrets. We have to fight over here with the turrets. The whole team will group up over here, which is really good. I'm glad that they, they came over here and didn't decide to try to fight them over there. Fighting them in the lane might not have ended well. Having these turrets here, we got three turrets here that can help us. Uh, we got the four, a turret, and one turret at the entrance. That's probably going to die real fast. But they can help us deal with their team just a little bit. Not not much, but it's better than fighting them in the lane and not having any leeway at all. So here I actually get rooted. I'm getting my ass kicked. I get ulted on. I get. Tra <laughs> I use my thruster and I get stuck on a wall. It looks silly as hell, but... Uh, my concern is killing the boss. If I can get rid of this boss, then I will feel confident that we can win this battle. But the enemy team, they didn't push as hard as they could with this boss. But once they lost their Karazim, it pretty much their momentum for their push pretty much died out there. And I took a lot of damage from this damn boss. So I'm just concentrating on killing the boss because I don't want to lose our core. We're 27 minutes in the game. A boss could come in and really wreck your stuff. Like, it... They attack really fast, man. Um, but our shield is going back up on our core, so that's not bad. We picked off one person, lost no one until we finally got our morale back. You know, it's after losing so many battles, your team will lose some morale. But I think that battle right there, everyone got a little morale boost. I, I, I know I did. I got a little morale boost. So I'm going to go over here and check with my napalm. I, you know, I don't want to go over there and face check. I'm not going to go over there and, sh <laughs> and just check it myself. Um, gotta play safe, man. These long respawn counters. Looks like Illidan's... Illidan's just beasting, man. He's been picking up all these camps out here. Um, 118,000 hero damage. We're doing okay. Almost double what their, uh, what their main character has. I'm surprised Jaina doesn't have more. I think she was having connection issues this game. And our team is doing real good as well. Nazebo's going to hit 100k hero damage soon. That siege damage is awesome. And that Nazebo EXP contribution is huge. We have to defend. So it looks like we are gonna actually going to post up over here and not let them get anything. And I'm inside his circle. You can see the circle on the ground there. And it does a lot of damage if you stay in there. Kerrigan? Uh, Kerrigan's getting revived! Oh, that was an awesome ult from Karazim. Um, I'm just trying to to battle these guys. Their their squishies backed up, and now they got the tanks over here. I'm actually rooted. I don't want to stay in root for too long. Boom! Still getting some shots off to knock him back. I don't want anyone to get knocked over his shoulder. If he grabs somebody over his shoulder, uh, they could potentially combo him and kill him. And I never noticed this shark right here on the map. This little shark it actually moved a, a second. It's still moving. It's like oh my god! I can't. I'm hooked. 
And uh, we're actually still fighting. But gotta be careful, man. Get your pokes in, shoot, but they got the cannonballs again. <sighs> and we are slowly, they're slowly getting back into this game. Not with brute force, even though they are winning a lot of these fights. And I took so much damage there, but he ended up dying for it. So look at that 64 second revive. This is a time for us to push. But we lost two people. They're not going to be up for another uh, five for her, 12 for him. So it's painful, man. <laughs> it's painful. Let's see what's going on over here. Uh, we got a lot of hero damage in that fight. Did we just do like 20k hero damage in that fight? I think we had 118,000 before that fight started. But yeah, I mentioned in the chat we're slowly losing. They're not 100% beating us in fights. Like, I'm surviving and I can defend a little bit. But they're beating us and picking up coins and they're turning in. And that's that's a strategy, you know? That is... We're, so we're slowly losing the... Well, we had a lead at the beginning. They're actually an entire level ahead of us. But we're slowly losing this game. If, if we don't end this soon, then chances are they're going to collect more coins. And they're just going to bombard us to, to, the, to win the game. So you just got to keep playing safe, not die. That's my mission is try not to die. Try my best. So they have enough coins to turn in. Uh, they got Jaina with 16 coins. Holy crap. Leoric has four. Diablo has one. Uh, Jaina, we noticed Jaina's on top lane. I ping Jaina's up there and I'm like, yo. And I see my team is fighting. I'm like, you guys are way ahead of me. So let's get down here. We have to fight these people while Jaina's on top. I think that was a bot up there though. And the game's telling me if I'm going to be flagged as AFK if I don't play within 45 seconds, even though I've been playing, I think, the whole time. I think right here I disconnect, and I'm like, no! I'm pressing all my buttons to escape. I'm like, no! You see my character, like, lag right there in the fog? I, I was hitting everything to escape. I hit my heal, my thrusters. I was like, please! Because I, I did disconnect right there for a second. It Was it a... It might have just been a lag spike or something. But uh, I'm like, can we turn in and win? And it won't be enough. Karazim's right. Uh, we'll have to go in. He's He was right. He was 100% right. Because the, they have 92% left on their core. And let's see how much damage it does to the core. You can see it up here. So an entire cannon is going to have to go through their shield first. And let's see how much is going to be left after the shield is uh, depleted. So each cannon does 10% damage. We got six shots left, or five, uh, three shots left now. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, it was left with 4%. Holy crap, those last three shots. Yeah, it was left with 4%. Oh my god, we could have actually pushed as a team and done it. But, oh my god, Diablo. I think Diablo, let's see, he actually is going to respawn. I don't, he's trying to escape. I bet he regrets that immediately. But his little void, his little void is right there, so he's gonna respawn real quick. But uh, Karazim was right; it's safer to push with the boss, and it's four percent. I understand Kerrigan's point. We could have rushed and just won, but uh, you know, had we all died, then what? Exactly. Kar I agreed a hundred percent with Karazim. I didn't say it in chat, but I agree. But uh, with boss, there's no way we can lose now. We can keep them busy. And just let the boss do the work. And that's how this battle is going to end is the boss. Look how quick the boss attacks. Like, bam, look at that thing. It's just mowing this thing down. And the enemy is, they can't really stop it, you know. So, guys, that's going to be it for uh, this video. Thanks for checking it out. This is the final score. I went 25-0, and 0, uh, 154,000 hero damage. The Looks like the highest in the game, really good. But I personally thought the MVP of the game was Nazebo, the most siege damage for the team, really good hero damage, and look at that EXP, 28,000, that's 10,000 more than me, that's, well, 11,000 11, more than me, that's, that kept us even with the enemy team, and that, that was really important, so, uh, even though I did not die, I still feel like Nazebo did a really good job keeping us in this game, so, anyway, that's gonna be it, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later, see ya.